If you don't have a practice that cultivates chi, then you're missing out on the greatest investment for your biological age. Now I'm gonna be a little biased here, but I like to lean towards qigong. Qigong is the practice of alchemy. So when we often think of our bodies or age, we think about breaking down or this entropy or just falling apart. The reality is, is our bodies are meant to heal. Our bodies are meant to regenerate. Now, like anything, you need to train for Qigong. We need to get our physical body prepared for this practice. You wouldn't just jump into a marathon, so you're not gonna just jump into Qigong. But let's start for right now as you learn the basics to warm yourself up to Qigong, and then we'll dive into your foundational stance. Now, with all beginnings of movement, we want to awaken the chi. We also want to be able to have this neurological map of where we are in space to be improved through touch. So you bring your hands together, take the moment to scrub from head to toe. Just awaken that chi, get your brain to know where you are in space. Next, you need to get your spine to move. The spine is often regarded as the main highway of chi. My favorite is priming the pump, bringing the chest forward during your inhalation, exhale and round throughout the entire spine. Play with it a few times, taking a deep breath in and long exhales out. Qigong is all about flow. So if you want that chi to move from head to toe, we need to come into hip circles. This is going to activate an acupressure point known as the gua to the front of the hip that serves as the bridge from upper to lower body. Next, we wanna move that chi through the knees. So most people will start with a knee forward and back bend. This may be more comfortable for many of you, but what I like to explore are these little triangles as I bend my knees over the pinky big toe over the big toe pinky and for those who can begin to play with these big range of motions I engage the glutes by squeezing my butt together so that I have a little more control over these knee circles. Once you have that chi flowing through the body, we now wanna come into our stance. Bringing the legs about shoulders width apart, you're gonna rock forward a little bit as I don't want you too much on the heels, but not too much on the toes. Once you feel an even footing from left to right, front and back, I want you to just simply sit. It's like you're sitting on a wide little horse. Tailbone drops, knees are bent, I still feel connected through my feet. Hui Lu, your tailbone, reaches down towards the earth. But from that tailbone, as it descends towards the earth, I want the rest of your body, that spine, to reach up, up, up to the ceiling. Essentially lengthening through by Hui, we reach to the heavens as Hui Lu reaches to the earth, and we create this long spine. Remember, the spine is the main highway of chi, so it's a cool opportunity to get that chi to flow. But we're gonna keep away from the chi aspect as I wanna keep with the physical idea. As we come into the phys physiology of the body, I want for us to also now pay attention to the arms, pulling shoulders back and down. We're gonna be here for a while. And so, to remind us of that lengthening, you're gonna bring your tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Lengthen through that spine. And next, you just stand there. Seriously, that's it. All you do is you stand in that Qigong stance or what we would always call as posting up. But this is where I want to challenge you. I'm creating a Qigong posting challenge for five days. On the five days that you have time, I want you to post up with me. By clicking the link below, I'm gonna give you a little template that you can follow so you can start this practice. It's not easy to do it on your own and I wanna be here with you to help guide you so that you can find balance in your physical body creating these open pathways where chi can flow and then eventually deepening your practice to learn about the chi body. Click the link below, try the five day trial with me. I'm really excited to be a part of your beginnings of a Qigong practice.